music. One of the most exciting things available to everyone. It's fun, it's creative, and it's rewarding. So, let's make music. Anyone who has learned to play a musical instrument will tell you how amazing it is. Harry Davis learned to play both piano and guitar and is now one of many musicians who records albums and performs live. And for Harry, it all started when he was a lad. People often start playing music in schools, um, you know, and there's so much opportunity there, especially if you've got other people you can play music with. But when I started learning, I was 14. It was, it was a lot to do with, but my friends played as well. So what I'm doing now, I'm, you know, I'm singing uh, for a living. I teach piano and guitar. I never had any idea that I'd do that when I was a kid. If you're given the opportunity to learn, you should just do it because, you know, you could find something that you yeah, absolutely love in life. For some, music becomes more than a pastime. For some, music becomes a way of life, a passion, a job. As I was growing up, music was always a massive part of my life. My parents introduced me to so many different sorts of music, so many different genres, so many different artists. You know, jazz, soul, reggae, funk, rock, acoustic, folky, Welsh traditional as well. I learned violin when I was younger in school, and that gave me the knowledge and the ability to then teach myself guitar. And I think after learning guitar, that was when mu music really became a much more significant part of my life, much more important to me, because I then started to write my own music. But for most, it really begins early in life, and often it starts by choosing to learn to play an instrument. This is where the adventure begins. This is where most learn the fun of making music whatever the instrument. It's also all about playing together, creating together, having fun together. And when you get a big gathering of musicians, amazing things can happen. So this is the Cavern's Youth Jazz Orchestra. They're drawn from secondary schools across Cardiff and the Vale and we meet here every Tuesday night to rehearse. We're currently preparing for a concert at the Wales Millennium Centre. We play in venues across South Wales, Dempsey's, the Jazz Club, and this summer we're playing at the Swansea International Jazz Festival. Can you hear me? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy it. I've, uh, I've been a member since I started Year 7 and I'm now coming to my, uh, my final few weeks in sixth form and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, throughout and um, I'm really going to miss it actually but it's, I've, I've learned so many things and it's been a great experience. How close can you hear me now? After concerts we've had people congratulate us personally which is always a good feeling. I love playing live, um, I like showing the work I've done in practice to other people so other people can appreciate it. It's really good, I've learned a lot being here. I started in year 8 and now I'm in sixth form. It's definitely helped me build a lot of confidence for playing. It's really sort of developed my musicianship skills and it's a really nice atmosphere as well. It's a bit of a break from school as well, so that's really nice. That's a big band, but it only takes a few of you to get together and make something magic happen. We've done singing and now we're setting up a group all together. It's really fun being in a band because we can be creative and we all encourage each other. I think that everybody should try and have a go at playing some sort of musical instrument because it's really fun and enjoyable. How do you get started? 
Most schools encourage young people to learn a musical instrument and can organise lessons from really good teachers. So you can learn to play solo, and that's important to begin with. But there is always that opportunity of playing in bands, school orchestras and small groups. And there are so many different ways of making music once you've mastered a few basic skills. Many young people are using the latest technology to create their own sounds. In school has been a big help because the teachers have always given me feedback. I've, um, I've brought in stuff from home on this programme and they've always given me feedback on it. They tell me what to do, what not to change and it's just great. Um, the thing I like about coming to school and doing this is my friends are there as well and they get to learn as well so it's not just you learning on your own, your friends are there, you, you're all having fun on well, producing music and who doesn't like music. And for some, the journey continues from school to colleges and universities. My name's Jake Doran and I study the trombone. Uh, I'm Jake Heenan and I study the cello. And we both study here at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. So I started playing the trombone when I was eight years old. I uh, started uh, studying with John Leach, but Mr Leach as I had to call him and I studied with him throughout Mitch Junior School and throughout St Sorry's uh, completing my grade 8 in year 10, I'm about 15 then. I began the cello when I was 8 years old in primary school and then took up the saxophone as well when I got to secondary school as well as the piano and singing lessons. Uh, I passed my grade 8 for cello when I was 16 and then just kept practicing until I managed to get myself into music college. And now loving every minute of it. But of course, you don't have to go to music college to continue enjoying your music. Rob Morgan is studying to be a doctor in Bristol and still enjoys playing saxophone in his spare time. I started here in Bristol um, in 2010. Um, so what's that? That's four years now. So I'm going into my fifth year of, fifth year of medical school in a few, month, a few months' time. You learn to play an instrument, but then it's not just about the, the learning to, to create music, it's actually all about just to get involved in jamming sessions and in bands and it, it helps you develop all those skills, you know. So this evening we're here at the Big Chill, it's a, a regular affair. Every Tuesday evening we come here, a group of us um, like to get away from the, the normality of, of university life to actually just get back to what we really enjoy. And after schools and colleges, the music adventure continues. Andrew Lawson started playing percussion with the Caverns Youth Orchestra and now owns Fieldgate Studio in Penarth. Uh, we're at Fieldgate Studio, which is just outside Cardiff. Most of the stuff here we do, we do a lot of jazz, we do classical with the piano. Uh, piano players come from all over the country, all over the world actually, to play, play it. Um, and we've been doing quite a lot of singer-songwriting projects like Harry, like myself, um, a series of online videos. I think I'll be doing this for the rest of my life, yeah. Um, I started at a very young age and I can't really imagine myself doing anything else. You, you have to be really dedicated, but it's fun. It's fun to practice and get better and to improve. But the most fun comes with playing with other people, really, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I guess so. Making a band and coming into a studio and, and, and recording something physical that you, you've got for the rest of your life. huge satisfaction. And also the friends you make along the way. Yeah. I've got really close friends that I know would have met if it wasn't for bands and music. So the possibilities are endless. It can begin by learning to play an instrument and enjoying whatever path you choose to take but the passion will stay with you forever. I love playing the flute because 
It means that you can join with others and play music together. Listening to music, I've always loved listening to it and hearing all the techniques and all the tunes. It's kind of persuaded me to learn an instrument and that's why I love playing the flute. You don't need to be in a music career when you grow up because even if you're a doctor, teacher or nurse, music will always be in your soul and you'll always want to play it. If you're given the opportunity to learn, you should just do it because, you know, you could find something that you absolutely love in life. I would always encourage anyone to take the opportunity of learning an instrument um, because it gives you so many exciting opportunities, especially throughout school. There's a lot of things that goes on in school which is to do with playing an instrument. Uh, for example, when I was younger I used to play in the orchestras and that took me to lots of different places and it's a lot of fun you meet a lot of new people from being able to play an instrument and uh, to this day it's become a really massive part of my life and uh, there are so many other routes that you can go down if you have an instrument, if you're able to play an instrument. It's similar to being able to speak another language but you're, you're speaking another language through you know, playing, playing an instrument so it's quite a beautiful thing. It's just really fun. Yeah, and it's really fun.